grand opening. to me so that's the kind of tenacity she has with projects here and so she brought this project to me and she said I think we need a playground on the YMCA campus okay well I just came from the playground world I knew a little bit about that and I said all right let's do it well I found this project at Menard no we're not doing that we're gonna build a playground we're gonna build a playground we're gonna have the best most inclusive safest playground in Mexico and I was gonna make sure of that so I said we need to fundraise I know a guy so I called my friend Don Decker, who's helped me with a few projects. And I said, Don, I need to help fundraising for a project. Five minutes later, Don was at my office. He said yes before he knew what the project was. So Don and I said, all right, let's put this together. We decided, you know what else we need? Is the safest surfacing. Let's do that too. He started researching about industry best practices for surfacing. So. I've heard a lot of you comment about, wow, this is nice, and started bouncing. So I have a trivia question for you. Who knows what this surfacing is made out of? Do you have an idea? Well, gosh dang it, Sophia. You're so smart. Anybody here? Recycled scrap tires. I bet you can guess how many scrap tires we diverted from a Missouri landfill to do this project. One million. Two million. Two million. 18 tons. 700. 18 tons of scrap tires were saved from Missouri landfill to do this project, which is also explains why it was more than 40% of the project's cost, right? So when you look at the little flyer that we hand out that explains, well, why do you need $225,000 for a playground when I can get one at Sam's for $100? That's why. So we have a commercial grade playground with industry best practice safety surfacing. Now you guys know how much rain we had these last couple days. We are able to use this playground today because it's water absorbent, it's slip resistant, it reduces bodily injury, including head trauma. And Office of Childhood came out and inspected our playground and said, your slides are too tall, you can't have these. I said, yes I can. And I showed them all the research from the playground surfacing. So um, we're just really proud of this project and um, couldn't have done it without the vision of, of Sam Wilson and the fundraising spirit of Don Decker and Jack Creechen's project management and me calling Chad Shoemaker in the middle of the night going, did I think about this right? And all the other folks who helped us with different donations or different aspects of getting this opened. And um, just really proud of what we were able to accomplish. The kids love it. We use it every day. Our childcare staff loves it. We use it every day. Um, and our membership loves it. You can check out a key to bring your family out here and use this playground at any time, except for right after school. There's a few parameters. You can reserve this playground for your next kid's birthday party or family reunion. Um, and we're just really proud of this resource and it's a, because of all of you who helped make this happen. Right, Brennan, anything to add? Nope. All right. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for using it. Tell your friends and family about it. Please eat the cookies that are behind me. Otherwise, they'll end up on my desk later. And if you're joining us for the annual support luncheon, we will be right inside those doors. So take a slide if you want, use the please, grab a cookie, and then join us inside. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys.